Let me show you the quick layout for the cheap track that I've done. At the moment, it's very rough. I have one corner there, but I'm not happy about the glue that I used, so I'm gonna redo this corner. I need to do something similar here and there and there. And for the track itself, I bought those super low cost, uh, pretty thin urethane pads that go under the um, swimming pools to protect the grass, I guess, or maybe to just be able to get out of the swimming pool in a garden. But those were super, super cheap and they behave a lot like uh, RCP track. The grip is really great. Now there's a little bit of bumpiness between the tiles because the tiles are 50 by 50, but I've grouped them. Uh, I got one by 1.5 meter which is those one, two, three, four long ones, and then the one by one corners, squares, and then I have this little bit in the middle that is separated in more parts. Um, my plan later on is to do a bit of like detail work and painting it. I, I just gelled it today, so it's it's just been gelled. Some of them are still drying while I'm driving now. But the idea is gonna be to paint those as sidewalls of a track. I might put some aluminum bars like I had on my in my track in Hong Kong. This is by the way my new place uh, in France that I have for a year. There is a huge garden so we're gonna be able to do some off-road videos when the buggies arrive. Gonna be able to do a little track over there and then we're gonna discover uh, all the local tracks around here. It's a pretty good place for one-fifth scale uh, so I might be able to use my one-five quite a bit but all uh, all that cost me a very very low to give you an idea in euros so eight of those tiles which is uh, two square meter was about 10 euros I think so you can do the math of the size I have I have about so 1.53 for five meter in length and one, two, three and a half in width. So it's a it's a small track, but it's a decent track for home. And the good thing is I can always go and get more of those pads anytime. They have some that are slightly narrower. They're like 90 by 90 bigger tiles. So I could do some other types of sections, but I want to play with this. This is perfect. I can take it out in five minutes and it's not going to bother the garden. It's just on the ground here. So yeah, here you go, that is the new temporary, not temporary, but in progress mini Z track finally after managing to get out of Hong Kong, which was not easy at all. I still do not have any of my uh, SD racing shop here. Uh, the container is in Rotterdam somewhere. He was in Rotterdam on the 25th of August, so he's going to be around here sometime in September. So I'm going to have everything back for the shop and I'm going to be able to put the shop back in order and see what I do. I'm going to for sure keep doing buddies. That's 100% for sure. For the chassis, I'm going to see what I have in stock and what I can do locally because uh, of course I do not, do not have the Chinese supply anymore. Uh, although I have a lot of stock, it's going to some parts are going to run out if I sell them like I did before so I'm going to be smart about what I do with the store but the store is going to come back to life I do not know when but probably well October I guess if I get my stuff sometime in September time to resettle and figure out the shipping and everything uh, it's going to be way easier to do uh, European shippings that's for sure international I do not know anything about shipping in France so that was a very painful punch. I'm gonna discover how shipping works here. I do not know the price. I don't know the availability. And I'm living uh, pretty much in the middle of the countryside. So, well, I drive badly, but I drive way worse when I'm talking at the same time. So we will see how all of this thing go. In any case, I'm happy to be back in the realm of the RC living and i'll update everybody soon with what's gonna happen next all right 
Until the next crash, bye bye. Here you go.